Hello everyone and welcome to the Magical Mixture Mill, given to me by Glowlight. Now, as far as I can tell this is potentially like a shop-ish game where you just sell magic, but who can say? Let's see how this goes. Save one slot, we'll just say catastrophe. No, no, oh, you know what, let's just leave with the hashtag. Okay, so who were you? You don't know where you are, but you have vague memories of epic adventures, culminating in one recent wild night in particular. But what kind of adventurer are you again? Rogue, wizard, barbarian? Barbarian origin, oh so strong. Well, you used to be at least. Your big shiny muscles were the talk of the town. Having spent all this time in bed has made you weaker, but you are still better than others at smashing things. Okay. Rogue Origin. Wow, you are really edgy. Back in the day, you were virtually invisible, even in broad daylight, thanks to your super ninja s stealth skills and your tendency to wear all black. Now everyone sees you from a mile away. Luckily, some of your agility and acrobats have stayed with you. Acrobatics, not acrobats. Wizard Origin. We get it. You are really, really smart and it's important to you that other people know it. Thanks to your big brain, you can use abilities more often. Although you still know how to teleport around, your days of throwing magic missiles and fireballs left and right are over. Um, okay, we can't access these three yet. Okay, so since I have done a little bit of D&D &D and the last one I played was a rogue, we will go with rogue. I didn't read the abilities. Oops, never mind. Grisilda the Purple Witch. Is that because of her hair? Please tell me it's not just because of her hair. Well, 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 I was starting to wonder if you would ever wake up, you little snoozer. It's been weeks since you were brought here. Poor thing. And by here, I mean Grisilda's magical mixtures. And you guess it, I am Grisilda. Yes, the Grisilda. Or Grisilda's, of Grisilda's magical mixtures? The potion seller? The one-stop potion shop? No? Nothing? Well, this is interesting, and terribly awkward. Back in the day, this place was on the lips of every adventurer out there. Literally. Oh, but misery me. The last thing you want to do is listen to an old witch ramble on about the good old days. Why don't you try and stretch your legs by walking over to me? Is it... Oh, it's WASD. For some reason, I thought it was point and click for a moment. Look at you go. A bit wobbly, but at least your legs work. As I was saying, I am known as Griselda the Purple, author of Shroom for Improvement, a substance-based self-help book, and famous across the realm for my magical concoctions. <sighs> well, it used to be at least. Anywho, I can still brew up a mean magical mixture. Here, why don't you take a sip of this? It should make you feel better, sweetie. Drink healing potion. Is it this one? Oh, no, that's the map. How do I... Oh. It says right there how to do it, and I didn't look. Did I just throw up on the floor? What? Oh, that goo was from me. Oh, my. It looks like we have a case of mixture intolerance. Years of popping them potions will really mess with your body and mind, sweetie. First of all, magical mixtures will no longer have any positive effects on you. Oh, well, drat. <laughs> Pathetic. Well, butter my milk, I almost forgot he was here. When you were found, the goblin person was rummaging around your belongings, refusing to leave your bag. Your bag? As a matter of fact, this is my bag. Born and raised in it. Any respectable bag goblin will be proud of this bag. Where it goes, I go. Even when a certain person came rummaging in. Looting and pillaging and killing my dear old evil sorcerer master and mistaking my bag for loot. Typical adventurer behaviour. I was so silly, that one. But you don't look like that well, dear. How about we call it an early day? I have big plans for us tomorrow. Sweet dream, sweetie. Right, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that's what happens if you let go too early. Selling a potion in the shop will earn you more. I was reading that. Okay, well, at least the mops cleaned up my mess. Rise and shine. Getting rested? Right, not a talker. That's fine, sweetie. 
I bet you're just itching to repay old Griselda for nursing you back from the brink of death, aren't you? Well, I don't hand to the Devil's Workshop, as they say. So, let's turn these hands into Griselda's workshop instead. My days of brewing potions all night are long gone, and adventurers seem to have all but forgotten the existence of Griselda's magical mixtures. Uh. But, as I live and breathe, now that you are here, we might turn this place around. Follow me, dear. But I want to play with the chess. That was a short walk. Welcome to the workshop. This is where the magic happens, or rather, this is where the magic used to happen. Golly me, this place sure has seen better days, but haven't we all? Let's start simple, shall we? Now pay good attention, dearest. It all starts with ingredients, which are turned into mixtures before being poured into bottles, and that is what we call a potion. Ingredients turn into specific mixtures based on their essence type. For today, we want to make a healing mixture. For that, we need a life essence ingredient such as a proud cap. A lovely little handsome shroom. Thing is, I'm all out of proud caps. Here, take my old sickle. You can use it to gather some outside. It should grow all around the shop. I will wait here. Have fun out there, sweetie. I will be coming with you. I will take any chance to get off this wall. Okay, do I need to pick you up? Or cannot interact with this object right now? Yeah, you're an object. Is there anything in here? Oh. That's disappointing. Right, how do I get out? Oh, through here? Okay. Okay, press or hold. Okay. Reach search out the Alchemist album. So, Proud Cats. It's a mushroom. She said it's around outside the shop. Um, I don't see any Proud Cats. Griselda, did you lie to me? Oh, wait, are these? Oh, I'm gonna assume. Yeah, these are crap. Well, let's get some extras. I found a beetle. There's no doubt she's probably gonna ask me multiple times to go outside, get more crab caps. I'm beating Griselda at her own game. Or am I harvesting her whole lot that they never grow again? That's also a thing. I should probably be careful. Mailbox, can I go? No. Oh. Right, well, let me interact with that door. Okay, never mind. Let's go back down. Okay, so. The alchemy table. Ah, here we go. So, how do I do this? Research, here we go. So, I've got beetle, psychic ticks, and proud caps. Oh, you need to hold the button down. Slightly longer and more prouder than the average shroom, affecting you passion one. Gives you a tiny increase to knockout resistance for the rest of the day. Okay. What about this beetle? An etymologist could probably classify the type of beetle further, but the rest of it just doesn't care. Affecting you herb... herb... herbtismism... one? Okay. Gives you a tiny increase to damage against herbs for the rest of the day. Damage against herbs? I'm confused by that. Also, I just realised I've got 117 crowd caps. Whoops. Psychic. Psychotic. Unstable mind ingredient. Ooh. These little nasty bastards feed on your mind instead of your blood. I didn't expect this game to swear. Okay. Fair enough. Effect on you. Lucidity 2. Gives you a minor increase to cooldown reduction for the rest of the day. Huh. That's kind of good. Are you following me? Yeah, you're following me. That's kind of creepy. Don't follow me. Oh, these are great. Good job, sweetie. Oh, would you look at that? I am fresh out of bottles. Luckily, I have a daily bottle subscription that I never did figure out how to unsubscribe from. Be a dear and pick up some bottles in the ma mail, will ya? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just check the mail and... Oh. Mm. Oh, bottle subscription, here we go. 50 bottles. Okay, did I take everything? Oh, I have to double click? Okay. It says press, but in my case it was a double click, so... Mm. Okay. Oh, you are such a peach. Okay, let's get brewing. As I said, we want to brew a healing potion today. As you now know, a potion is a magical mixture poured into a bottle ready for consumption. 
and as we just learned, healing mixtures are made from life essence ingredients, and that's where the proud cups come in. Ready, dear? Okay, let me walk you through the process. First, we need to extract the lovely life essence from the proud cap using an extractor. Then, we wait for the magical mixture to make its way. And then we pour it into a bottle using a bottler. It's that simple. Why don't you give it a try? Okay. So I need to make one healing potion. Um. Oh, open. Right. Press on the proud cap to transfer it. Okay, let's choose these ones. Wait, what do I transfer to? Oh, right. Dolly. Can I put more than one in? No, okay, so I can only do one at a time. Press on the... Wait. Wait. Press on the extractor and choose start to turn it on. Wait, did I do that right? Oh, it's doing... Oh, please don't explode on me. Um... Uh, wait, oh, did it connect? Okay. Uh, open, we put bottles in here, I guess, and, uh, start. Okay, um, okay. A bit interested, okay. 100 coins, can I take that? Oh, I need to give you the potion first, there you go. That's, um, that's definitely a potion. Well, can't, never could, as I always say. You'll get the hang of it, sweetie. Why don't you brew up another 25 healing potions, you know, to build up some brewing confidence. If you ever run out of bottles, just go to bed and wait for a new bottle delivery in the morning. Goodness knows I paid for them. Don't stay up all night now. I was right to get more than she asked for in regards to those caps, wasn't I? Piss, hey, teacher's pet, over here. I don't know about you, but my need brewing another 25 of those sounds excruciating, excruciatingly inefficient. Remember when you killed my old master? No, that's convenient. To be fair, he was quite unpleasant, murderous and evil. Regardless, I assume you are aware of section 420, paragraph 8 of the Bag Goblin Ownership Contract, which states that the ownership of the aforementioned Bag Goblin is automatically transferred to a third party if 1. The original contractual owner passes and 2. The Bad Goblin bag is subsequently acquired by said third party. So, as your newly acquired underling, I am obligated to inform you that when it comes to magic, I am incredibly powerful and, as of late, painfully bored. With a snap of my fingers, I could set up a fully autonomous potion workshop, saving you a lot of time. All I need from you are orders and resources. If this sounds interesting to you, we should head outside. We are going to need a bunch of wood and some of those proud caps. I believe I have an old axe lying around in my bag somewhere. You all will need it. Oh, uh... Okay... I just need to collect wood now? Oh, okay, so we're kind of beating Griselda at her own game again. Okay, so I get seven per tree by the looks of it. Maps was never my strong spot. No, that just gave me five. Okay, so we might be here a while, folks. Oh, that took a while. Okay, we called the word, now we talk to Bogglewoggle. Really? That's your name? Bogglewoggle? Oh, hey, Griselda. Bogglewoggle? This should do. I suggest we start out by placing some crates next to these workstations. Crates are not only for storing stuff, they also enable me to automatically transfer items to it from the workstations or even when we're not around. Simply place down the crate and match its output with the input of a workstation. If you could be bothered to do that for the, both the extractor and bollard, that would be just great. I'll take care of the rest. Build a crate? Can't I just take one of the crates from here? It's not. Okay. 
So, crate, let's have a look. Crate, here we go. And he said to put it... And... Oops, oh, hey, hang on. Hang on, why are you not... There we go. Wait, did I place this wrong? Hang on. Let's see... Oh! Oh, I just saw those little arrow thingies when you're doing that. Oh, okay. Neat. Next, go and put some proud caps in the extractor crate and some bottles in the bottle of crate. When that is taken care of, just give me the order and I'll turn everything on. Okay. Mm. Okay, so we need the... That should be enough, right? And then bottles. That should be everything. Talk, uh, make Boggle Woggle turn everything on. Well, that's useful. Oh, that is useful. Wow, incredible work, and so on. I can see why the old witch chose you as her assistant. Making me assistant to the assistant. Mother would be so proud. This might take a bit. You should rest up or run outside and gather more stuff. Or some other human activity. My magic will keep everything running here. When all 25 healing potions have been brewed, you should take them out front of the witch. I'm sure she'll be impressed with your work. <laughs> wow, so sarcastic. Anyway, folks, I am all out of time today. Thank you so, so much, Glowlight, for allowing me to play this. I'm actually really enjoying it so far, despite not going so far. Those potions aren't going to start spilling on the floor, are they? I hope not, because that bottle looks empty. And guys, if you like the content I'm putting out, link to my coffee is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now. I'm a bit worried that Prune's going to start cleaning everything up. <laughs>